So I've got the, the rootstock here, which I've just cut the top off um, because you want to make the uh, graft as close to the ground as you can. And then I'm going to get this really sharp knife. You need a really sharp knife. So I use Stanley knives because the blade, you can, you know, they're usually sharp and they're replaceable. So you make up, you always, you don't ever cut towards your hand. So you hold the rootstock below you and you just make a diagonal cut with the knife like that. I have to do it with my glasses on because I'm. I can't see properly now I'm older. So I've made a diagonal cut, which is, you really should do it in one movement, but if it's not completely straight, you, it, I think it's allowed to do it, you're allowed to do it again. Um, so, Cause you want a really nice flat diagonal cut. And then you do a little nick about three quarters of an inch. No, sorry, three quarters of the way across the cut. Um, nearer to the top and this is, this is to receive the notch that you're going to cut into the the rooting stock or scion wood the, the um, fruiting stock is called the scion is the bit that you're going to stick on the top so you get the the fruiting stock and you you want to choose a bit where there aren't any buds because um, you don't want buds interfering with the graft because they sometimes can grow out and push the graft apart so you want to choose a bit where there's no bud and then you do another diagonal cut the same as you've done in the rootstock and it's got to be nice and flat so you can see it's nice and flat hopefully anyway and then you cut the rest of the, the piece off and then you do the same that you did in the uh, the rootstock where you cut a little notch, well a little cut about three quarters of the way across the cut. And that should then allow you to push them together. You don't really want a lot of the, the, the fruiting stock. So you just say four or five buds and just cut it off. And that, that's, that's your, fruiting wood that you're putting onto the rootstock so you just put your fingernail into the rootstock and pull the, the little nick that you made apart so that you can push in the fruiting stock and you push it in and what you've got to do is try to match up the cambium which is the growing layer just below the bark because that's what grows on a, on a tree and you just push them together so that they they match up and they're nicely tight nice tight union you want and then you get the tape and you as you can see on the others and tape them together 